picks does not guarantee the numbers shown on this channel will result in lottery wins. Individuals who play the numbers shown on this channel understand that there are no guaranteed results and do so at their own risk. Hi, Lottery Queens and Kings. How are you? I hope all is well. Welcome to Chloe Picks. I'm back with another video. If it's your first time here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If not, welcome back. Today, I'll be sharing with you the Pick 3 Double Lottery numbers for the week of October 8th through October 14th. This is the second video that I've put out today. It's for the Pick 3 Six-Way Lottery numbers. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that video, I'll link it at the end of this one. So let's get started, guys. On the first page, I have 400 zero, zero, and 006. And I'll be listing these numbers in numerical order by the double number. So we're starting off with 00, zero moving on to 1122, two, and so on and so forth. That way, if you're looking to play a double based on the double number, then I have that in order for you. So on my community post page, I posted a situation about a pick three lottery number that I played, 611 and 119. Just in case you did not see that post, let me explain to you what happened. I played a pick three six way lottery number that I had a good feeling about. But what I did was I picked two ways I thought it was going to fall straight. And I put a dollar on that, which meant I would win $500 if the number fell straight. But here's the thing, 722 and 262, I didn't box it. And sure enough, that number hit that night and I got nothing. Well, I know what you guys are thinking. You're saying, well, you should have boxed it, Chloe. I know. $41 is better than nothing, but I got greedy. Sometimes that happened. I thought if I just play it straight, these are some good ways. I did my research and it did fall, just not the way I played it. 303 and 332. And guess what? It happened to me twice. But the second time I didn't put the dollar on the number straight. What I did was play it 50 cents straight and still didn't box it, and it did fall that same day. The good thing about the situation is those two numbers, I had not invested a lot of money in those two numbers. Actually, I only played them those days, 442 and 494. Well, let me ask you this. Do you play a number until it hits, or after a while, you drop it and get on something else if it takes too long to hit. Me personally, I don't have a lot of patience. If I find out that the number has hit already this year, I definitely will not play it for a long time. I do not like repeat numbers. 585-655. I know what you're thinking. Chloe, you got too many hangups. I don't even know how you hit the lottery. I know. I only play the evening draw. I don't like the box numbers. And before this triple situation here in Michigan, I wasn't even playing the triples. So, yeah, I got a lot of hangups when it comes to the lottery. But I do hit. I've showed you those tickets on this channel. And there are tickets that I don't even show you. Now, I'm not telling anybody to play the way I do. Everybody has their way of playing the numbers they like. 669-566. So let me know what you do in the comments. Do you hang on to the number for a little while? Or do you let it go after a few times playing it? So let's talk about these doubles. They're kind of hard to hit as well. Because they don't fall as often as the pick three six-way numbers. However, there's only three ways that you really have to play them, which means if you do hit, it's a possibility to get more money playing these numbers than the pick three six-way numbers because you don't have to box these doubles, 737 and 774. This year, I don't believe I hit a double. I'm not sure. I have to check my records, but we did get a lot of doubles this year. 
I think more than usual when it comes to the evening draw. I think, and this is my opinion, to hit the doubles, you really have to be tracking your double pairs. And what I mean by that, looking at the screen, we're looking at seven sevens. See how often seven seven falls. Does it hit once a month, every other month, every couple of months? And then you have to go from there and select your numbers. 886 988. That's really how I think you can hit it. Because if you know that, for example, 88 hits every month, then you know to get on an 88 when you determine the pattern of your doubles. And that's another thing. You have to determine the patterns of your doubles. Do doubles fall once, twice, or three times a week in your state? If so, by knowing that information, you know exactly when to get on a double. And if you're tracking the pairs, you can narrow it down. 599 and 993. So after doing some research, I noticed in my state that in prior months, some of these double pairs did not hit. So in other words, they did not hit in September. And I'm looking for them to fall in October because they usually don't skip no more than about one to two months. So they're actually due. And that could mean that a triple might fall with that pair. So if a one one didn't fall in September, maybe one one one, the triple will fall. It's hard to say, but I'm still looking at that. Guys, I hope that this information that I've shared with you today will be helpful to you. I still have the pick four lottery numbers for the week to come out. But I'm dropping this video very early. If you have not subscribed, make sure that you do so so that you don't miss out when I drop the pick for weekly lottery numbers. And also, I still have those monthly numbers coming out as well. I know I'm behind, but I'm catching up. Make sure that you like the video and share this video. I know you have some lottery friends that you can share this video with. So go ahead and do that. Guys, as always, good luck and thank you for watching.